was starting to get very sad because when I had lunch today it was already dark. <sighs> it just does not bode well for the next six months. Oh well, um, I can deal with a little bit of cold. I'm readying myself for it. I uh, decided to buy mittens because apparently mittens are warmer than gloves so I'm trying that out at the moment. And um, I had a moment yesterday where I wondered whether I'd done the right thing because I ran to catch a bus and it slammed the doors on me and like drove away and I was really surprised because normally the Vancouver bus drivers are just so nice they're like put up with anything and they're always really helpful and smiley and stuff and I was like what's with that guy? Um, and my first instinct sad to say was to like pull the finger at him and so I kind of went oh wait I'm wearing mittens I could be doing anything in here and he's not going to know. No one's going to know. So the choice to stoop to such vulgarity was not mine to make, but that's fine. Um, I'm kind of glad. Uh, so, yeah, if you're weighing up the pros and cons of mittens versus gloves, you know, add that one to the list. Um, for the sake of those around you, if you're inclined to do that sort of thing, maybe mittens are best. Yeah. Um, cold, I voted today. Yes, I exercised my democratic right to vote for government in New Zealand. And, um, yep, I'm starting to think that New Zealand is like the best country I can live in, possibly. So I decided to um, try and shape it into a way that will suit me for when I go back. Yeah, let's hope. We'll see voting. I'm a bit sceptical, I've got to say, about politicians and, you know, does anything really ever make a difference? Like the referendum, I mean, honestly, it seems like we always have these referenda and why? They're not binding, so like the politicians can still choose to do whatever they want. Um, and people are voting on these things completely uninformed anyway. They just believe what the media tells them to believe and and even if it was binding, I think that's an even worse position to be in, really. Vancouver has just, oh well, BC has just gone through this thing where they changed all the tax laws and it was done in a really annoying way where everyone got angry at the politician because he promised he wouldn't and then he did. And even though it was for the best anyway, like actually, but because he broke his promise, everyone got really angry about it. They held a referendum to say, shall we change it back to what it was? And of course, everyone voted, yes, let's put it back to how it was. Even though the margin was slight, they also, at the same time as deciding to have this referendum, changed the referendum so that whatever the result would be, would be binding, even if the if it was only just over 50%. And that was it ended up being what happened. And so now they have to change everything back, which is just like stupid, because it's expensive to change everything back. And in a few years down the line, they're just going to the government's going to come along and say, actually, we need to change all your tax laws back to what we want to do in the first place. So, who wins, really? No one. The people who get money out of all this bureaucracy. I don't know where all that money goes. Stupid, 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 stupid rant. Oh, I am getting old, aren't I? Oh, oh. I am turning into someone who votes. <laughs> oh.